Hi everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel today. I um, had a little girl home almost all week. She was sick. She caught some kind of a stomach virus slash flu, spring flu. And it's something that's going around in their school right now. And I'm sitting here um, making this video, but I'm not feeling so great myself. I think she might have passed it on to me because I'm getting a little nauseous. Um, but I'm going to get a cup of tea and hopefully that will settle my stomach as well. Anyways, this video is... Um, going to be short and sweet. Yeah, okay, sure, Lauren, like you always say that. No, it will be. Um, I was making, well, Jamie Scrapping Stampers here on YouTube and over on her Facebook group page. She has a monthly event, and this theme, this month's theme was to make something sweet. Um, sweet-related, spring-related, you know, like a picnic or uh, something for the summertime, like ice cream, pops, candies, sweet. The theme is sweet. You guys get it, sweet. Um, and so, what I like to do when I do Jamie's challenges is I love to use the stamps not only that I bought or that she sells in her shop, but also um, I try to go for... Um, either an old old set or recent recently new set and it encourages me to use my stamps and that's really why I love to do her challenges also I, lo I love to support her because she's a sweetheart and she does do so much for a lot of us here on YouTube she's always um, she's just a sweetie pie she's always um, so very eager and so very generous to help us so that's why I'm doing this video. Um, I'm going to be um, adding this. I already made one card for her um, challenge this month, and I had so much fun with that one, I made another one. And this week, since I was taking care of Leanne and her not feeling well, I didn't really have a lot of time to craft. So I figured I'll just make a simple card for the um, challenge that Jamie's hosting. And the stamp set that I decided to use for this was uh, by Lawn Fawn, which she does carry in her shop. And this is called Summertime Charm. And I love it. I haven't played with it in a little while. Um, but it's one of my favorite um, that has the mason jar stamps. One of my favorite stamp sets. Also because of the strawberries. Um, but I still want to go back now and play with the little um, glow, uh, the uh, fireflies. I love fireflies. I always have since I was a little girl. I don't know why. So my card is an A2 size card. Um, I have a yellow cardstock base that I made. Um, the word sweet, now I kept this fairly flat and I've been doing that a lot with my cards lately only because, and I don't know if you guys know this, but um, some of the cards that I've been making I've been sharing them with my mom and I know she's a very I try to make them postage conscience for her because I don't like making her very heavy cards because postage does cost a lot of money and you know they don't get to go out um, for stamps too much. I don't want her to have to um, make a trip to the post office unnecessarily. So I wanted to make the card um, kind of flat. So I used my diamond dies banner die set to create the banner and then on the inside of that I stamped that out with my Lawn Fawn um, Alpha stamps, and I don't remember which one that was, um, but again, I believe Jamie carries it in her shop, and if she doesn't have some available right now, you can always ask her about them, and she's more than happy to order them for you. Um, and I believe this was the one I used. And this one is called Claire's ABCs. Love, 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 love. Love that alpha set. So what I did was I um, stamped it out and cut it out using the dies, which I also purchased from Jamie's shop. So I used my stamps and my dies. And I colored it in with my Copics. I don't know if you can see that there. I, I did cut the jar lid off. As you can see here on the stamp, it is one piece. Um, so I cut the lid off because I wanted to, it to look like all the strawberries were falling out. And the strawberries also, I 
After I colored them, I took my stylus just to give it a little bit of added dimension. And I used my flower mat. And it's just a regular foam mat. If you don't have one of these, you can also use a mouse pad, um, any little rubbery pad. And I just, after I die cut them and color them, I just go like this to them very gently and it gives them a little bit of a raised bumpy edge and that alone will give you so much dimension to your die cuts guys um, it's a little trick that I learned here on YouTube a, a long long time ago and not only that then you don't have to worry about using um, foam adhesive to give it dimension if you don't want to you can still use the foam if you like but I find that it gives the dies the die cut piece is a nice added little fluffiness without putting a lot of bulk to your card. I also added this white and gold metallic ribbon and then I have here a little piece of gray cardstock that I used my Martha Stewart Lacy Doily Punch which is this one right here and I used that to cut out a little border and then these two here these were just two little pieces of scrap paper that I had in my stash and then here is some gold metallic thread that I purchased um, and I'm going to share that with you as well because I have a little share for that and then on the inside I used my Avery L um, pierced rectangles to create this little card base inside so I can write a little note and I used more of the leftover um, paper scraps just to give it a little definition on the bottom and like I said, I've been leaving my cards blank because I really didn't know what I was going to do with it just yet. Now, I do have a little Happy Mail share for you guys. And the reason I wanted to share a little Happy Mail was because I saw um, someone create a card on YouTube. And she used... And I'm trying to see if I find my card. But my card is not here. I think I put it away. I think I did put it away. Hold on. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, don't know if you can. See, maybe if I should, I should take it out of the packaging. I'm so sorry. All this just to prove one little point. I tell you, and I said this would be quick. Do you see this little um, gold threading here? I saw, and I'm so sorry because it was really late one night, and I let my autoplay on on YouTube. And I happened to see a card being made, and I cannot remember the card maker. I am so sorry. <coughs> but what she did was she added the metallic thread instead of twine. And I thought that gave it a really, really pretty um, shabby look to it. And I already did use a little bit of thread on this card that um, a friend has sent me a while ago. But it was just a little bit of string. So I went on eBay and I went and I looked for some more. And they finally came in. And that's what I used on this card here. However, I did notice that like for the banners it is a little thin. Maybe I should have like wrapped it around a few times. But look what I picked up on eBay, guys. I have some gold metallic thread. Love how strong it is. And this I'm going to start using on my cards, like little fillers, just to give it a nice, cute, little shabby, little vintage look. And I also picked up this one because both of these were being auctioned. I picked up this one, I believe, for $3 free shipping, which is a steal because there is a lot of it. This is a white metallic thread. It's a little bit thicker than the gold. Um, one Something I also want to start making soon um, probably in the next week or so, is um, some tassels. 
and that's another reason why I wanted the gold thread because I saw little hot tamales uh, tassel video and she used gold threading to wrap around her tassel and I really like that so I found those two on eBay and then I found an auction for both of these as well and what I thought was funny of course I didn't know this at the time when I purchased it these were also I think it was $2.50 um, and that that was with free shipping though and me not knowing what I was buying I said oh okay well that's how much they cost so I bought one in metallic blue and one in gold don't you know that I paid and this one has at least five times more the amount of thread I bought this one for four dollars plus free shipping at auction so yeah I got a much better deal with this than with these but that's okay because I love that color so I picked up those as well then I um, and again I purchased these several several weeks ago um, I just haven't had time to share these yet and I am trying to be much better um, I have put myself on a bit of a freeze um, but again those sentiment stamps they just get me they get me they get me so um, while I was looking for the thread that day I was also looking for sentiment stamps at a nice cheap price um, I fell in love with these I'll be honest I don't even think I cared if, <laughs> if I paid a lot for these or not because these two sets were just amazing they have the cutest little um, sentiments I, I'm in love I'm so happy with them and I already used one of these on a tag because I couldn't even wait I might have shared it already um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I shared it because it was something for Becky you know what I think I packed up all her stuff and I didn't even make a video of it but that's okay um, anyways it has little sayings and this one says freshen isn't a big thing it's a million little things you are my happy you can't be said when you're holding a cupcake every day might not be good but there's something good in every day love that life is better with friends love that do small things with great love love that I mean everything here I love I'm willing to risk the cooties if you are <laughs> I love this Life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful. Never apologize for who you are. I love you to the moon and back. This is something that my boys and I used to say to each other all the time when they were little. And that really struck like a, one of those little emotional chords. And I had to get it once I read this. I, like I said, I wouldn't care if I spent 500 on it. I, I just had to. I like me when I'm with you. Enjoy the little things in life. I get butterflies just thinking of you. I really love that. I love you more. Love that. There's nothing better than a friend unless it's a friend with chocolate. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? So these these sentiments really, really spoke to me. And they are called life words, if anyone else is interested. I did purchase these on eBay. I'm not sure who the buyer was. I don't really keep track of that. And then these also tickled me something. These are springtime sentiments. And friends are the sunshine of life. The littlest birds sing the sweetest songs. That reminds me of my mom. Butterfly kisses and flower petal wishes. A kind word is like a spring day. The earth giggles in flowers. When life gives you a rainy day, play in the puddles. Now that reminds me of my girls and I actually have cameras and video footage when we lived in Delaware of them playing out in the rain and <laughs> jumping in puddles and all that good stuff so that's gonna be great for those pictures let your joy pop open like flowers in the spring spring gives us so many beautiful reasons to be happy smile spring shows us what God can do with a little bit of dirt and some rain I love that and then of course hello sunshine then it has like these little flowers and leaves and raindrops and two different types of raindrops the ones like for the downpour and the little raindrops I just love it I love it I love it I love it and if I'm not mistaken I believe I spent ten dollars for one and eight dollars for the other I don't remember which one was which was it an 
absolutely steal of a deal? No. It's probably and free shipping for both. Probably I maybe I saved one or two dollars. But like I said, I just I was in love with these and I wanted them and I didn't I really wasn't paying as close attention to stamps. I mean uh, prices for the stamps as I normally do. Usually I, I like to think I get away with murder. <laughs> Um, but I did it. But th for this one, I might have, though. I'm not sure how much this one goes for in the stores. Again, I picked this one up on eBay as well. But, again, I fell in love with the sentiments. And I believe this one was $7.99, free shipping. And this one says, home is wherever I'm with you. Love that. Everything beautiful has its moments. I love this crazy, tragic, sometimes magic, beautiful life. That is so me. <laughs> Don't forget to smile. Enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. I've seen that a lot of times. Love it. A smile happens in a flash, but its memory can last a lifetime. Seen that one before. And then the last one, so many of my smiles begin with you. Now this I've never seen before and it just melted my little heart. I love this. I love this. I can't wait to use this on a um, layout. And it just made me think of my girls and my hubby and my boys right away. Um, so many smiles begin with you. That's so sweet. And this stamp set is called Blue Bay and it's by Kaiser Craft. Yes, Miss Lola. Lola is hitting me. She's attacking my leg. She wants to come up on my desk. She knows I'm on film. That's why. Now this one I did get for a steal. Yes, sir. We. This one made up for the other three. <laughs> I actually purchased this one for three dollars guys with free shipping and I don't know oh $15.99 this says if you can believe that label this cost $15.99 I actually picked this up for three dollars and fifty I think it was 51 cents or 41 cents something like that and it was me bidding no one else bid it on it and I was the only one and the bidding started at three dollars um, and I won it and the reason I fell in love with these alphas was because it's um, Celtic and it reminded me of like the Hobbit, those um, letters that they use for, the, for, the, um, for those movies, which I live. And I just love the print. I can't wait to play with these. They're so pretty. Yes, Lola. Lola's kissing me. Look at Lola. Say hello to Lola. Lola. Can you look up at the camera? No, she's not going to look up. <laughs> She's another one. Um, lately, when I'm at my desk trying to do either videos or a project, that's when she wants to come and play. And she will truly lunge at me. And I have to just try to catch her. She, she fell once. It wasn't too funny. I thought she hurt herself. Um, yeah, so when she starts tapping me, I have to stop what I'm doing and get ready. Because that means she's going to lunge. And I have to catch her. Um... And then she'll just keep pecking at my face until I stop and give her my undivided attention. So, are you looking for mommy's undivided attention now? You're kishy kishy. Okay. Okay, I'm done. So guys, that's it. That's my card and my little haul share, my little stamp haul share. Teeny tiny. I thought this was going to be a fast video. I guess not. <laughs> so anyway, if you would like to join uh, Jamie's card challenge... Go over to her YouTube channel, Scrampin' Stampers, or her Facebook group. Also, go check out the Not Too Shabby Shop. It's uh, her website for her store. She has a little bit of everything. She has paper, she has stamps, she has dyes, she has embellishments, she has kits. She has a little bit of everything. And she carries a lot of lawn fun. Yes, she does. <laughs> So thank you all. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.